Have you ever encountered a mystery so profound, so complex, that it baffles the brightest minds of our generation? The Voynich manuscript is such a conundrum. This curious artifact was first unearthed in the year 1912 by a Polish book dealer named Wilfred Voynich. With its pages filled to the brim with an indecipherable script and intricate illustrations, it presents a puzzle that has captivated and frustrated scholars for over a century. The text of the manuscript is written in an unknown language or code, a language that has never been seen before or since. Despite countless hours of research and analysis, the text remains as elusive as ever, refusing to yield its secrets. This has led to the Voynich manuscript being dubbed the most mysterious book in the world. But it's not just the text that's puzzling. The manuscript is also filled with detailed and beautiful illustrations depicting a variety of plants, astronomical symbols, and strange humanoid figures. Yet these illustrations only deepen the mystery, as the plants cannot be identified with any known species, and the astronomical symbols do not correspond to any known constellations or celestial bodies. What the Voynich Manuscript is is very difficult to say because nobody has been able to read a word of it for 400 and some years. Let's just start by assuming this thing is what it is, which is something we cannot read. It has an incredibly careful and precise form of writing in a script that nobody has any idea what it means or how it works or even if it means. So that is the puzzle. What is this thing? Where did it come from? Why was it made? Over the years, a multitude of theories have been proposed to explain the manuscript's origins and contents. Some suggest it's a medieval herbal, others argue it's a coded alchemical text, and there are even those who believe it's an elaborate hoax. Despite the wide range of theories, none have been able to provide a definitive explanation. Numerous attempts have been made to decode the manuscript using modern technology. Cutting-edge AI tools and scientific methods have been brought to bear on its pages in the hope of finally revealing its secrets. Yet the Voynich manuscript continues to defy interpretation, its contents as enigmatic as ever. This ancient book, filled with mysterious symbols and images, continues to defy interpretation. It stands as a testament to the enduring allure of the unknown, a challenge to our understanding of the world and our place within it. The Voynich manuscript remains an enigma, a puzzle waiting to be solved, a mystery begging to be unraveled. Among the many theories surrounding the Voynich manuscript, one stands out. It's a theory rooted in the realm of botanical science. A scientist, studying the manuscript with a keen eye, noticed something extraordinary in the illustrations of plants and herbs. The plants depicted across the manuscript's parchment don't belong to a random assortment of flora. No, they belong to families consistent with a very specific environment. This environment is marked by a stable light source and evergreen vegetation, a characteristic feature of certain regions on our very own planet. But the revelations don't end there. The manuscript also houses an array of intriguing humanoid figures. These figures despite their stylistic representation, bear a striking resemblance to Homo sapiens. Yes, you heard it right, they look like us. And this resemblance isn't a superficial one. It extends to the minutest of details, including the shape of their noses and the structure of their mouths, suggesting a shared origin and a common environment. Now, you may ask, what does this mean? Well, the implications of this similarity are profound. It suggests that the Voynich manuscript, with its indecipherable text and intricate illustrations, might not be the work of an alien civilization or a product of divine intervention. Instead, it could be a creation of our own species, an artifact from an ancient civilization that walked the same earth as we do. But then, why is it so hard to decipher? And why does it contain knowledge of plants and humanoid figures that seem foreign to us? Could it be that this manuscript is a window into our forgotten past? Or is it a glimpse into a parallel civilization that coexisted with ours, unknown and undiscovered? The presence of humanoid figures in the manuscript adds another layer of mystery, suggesting a connection to our own species. As we delve deeper into the enigma that is the Voynich manuscript, 
we are left with more questions than answers. But isn't that the very nature of mystery, to entice us, to challenge us, and to push us to never stop exploring? Now, prepare to venture into the realm of the extraordinary with a fascinating theory, the Hollow Earth Hypothesis. This theory, as old as the hills and as mysterious as the midnight sky, postulates that our planet is not a solid sphere, but rather a hollow shell with vast, unexplored regions beneath our feet. For centuries, stories have circulated about lost civilizations thriving in these subterranean worlds. Could the Voynich manuscript's origins lie within such a hollow earth? The idea may seem far-fetched, but consider this. The manuscript's intricate illustrations, its indecipherable text, and the presence of humanoid figures all hint at knowledge far beyond the ordinary. Scientific research and historical evidence have often hinted at the existence of subterranean worlds. From seismic data suggesting large, empty spaces beneath the Earth's crust, to ancient myths around the globe speaking of underworlds and inner Earth civilizations, the Hollow Earth theory finds resonance in various forms. The Voynich manuscript, with its peculiar content, could well be a relic from one such civilization. It is proposed that the manuscript's cryptic language might be the tongue of an ancient inner earth civilization lost to time and hidden from surface dwellers. But the speculation doesn't stop there. There have been reports of pale humans found in remote regions unable to communicate in any known language. Could these individuals be descendants of an inner earth civilization? Their existence, if proven true, might well hold the key to interpreting the Voynich manuscript and substantiating the Hollow Earth hypothesis. As we delve deeper into the Voynich manuscript, we find ourselves on a journey not just through the pages of a cryptic book, but potentially through the layers of our own planet. A journey that takes us from the realm of the known to the unknown, from the surface to the depths, and from the world of facts to the world of theories. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the Voynich manuscript, we are led to speculate about secrets hidden beneath the surface of our own planet. The Hollow Earth hypothesis, although controversial, opens up a whole new world of possibilities, and the Voynich manuscript, enigmatic as ever, continues to fuel this quest for knowledge. Remember, the truth is often stranger than fiction. In the face of such profound mysteries, curiosity becomes our greatest ally. Together, we've journeyed through the perplexing world of the Voynich Manuscript, a riddle that has stood the test of centuries. We've pondered the botanical science that links the manuscript's intricate illustrations to an environment with stable light and evergreen vegetation. We've speculated about humanoid figures that bear an uncanny resemblance to our own species, suggesting an earthly origin for this enigmatic text. We've also delved into the intriguing Hollow Earth hypothesis, contemplating the possibility that the manuscript's origins lie within unexplored regions beneath our very feet. The presence of pale, non-communicative humans in remote regions adds to this tantalizing theory. Each of these threads weaves a fascinating tapestry of mystery, inviting further exploration and discovery. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery. Remember, stay curious and never cease to explore. Until next time, keep pondering the mysteries of the Voynich Manuscript. Subscribe to the channel for more video, and please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this.